What's up guys, Rick with Rally Sport Direct here. And this year has moved along so quickly, I can't believe it's already November, but it's time for some new products. Now some I'm incredibly excited to show you guys because they really are super cool. Well, actually a lot of these, but I'll stop talking about them. Let's just jump right into it. Roll that beautiful bean footage. Literally, as I was breaking down, I wanted to ask you guys, if there's an item in the list you're about to see that you want to see more on, whether that's an install video, an in-depth review, or whatever, let me know in the comments down below. I'm trying to change things up here. I'm really trying to make videos for you guys. Anyway, now let's get started. We've got the parent strut tower bar specific for the O2 Plus WX and STI. So basically, all of them. Now. These are available in black, neon yellow, which is the coolest one. And I did try to get it, but couldn't. Uh, and this red here, which honestly looks incredibly sexy. Now, what makes this thing special? Well, the fact that when you pick it up, it's incredibly light. And a big part of that is the billet feet. They put a lot of work into the machining and making sure that it's ultra rigid, but incredibly functional. The reason for that, with the caps that just pop off here, it's gonna make installation a breeze. No longer you're gonna have to fight and wiggle the strut tower bar in. You're literally just gonna kind of be able to bolt it down and then bolt it down again. <laughs> it's a very unique and quite brilliant yet simple design and made from parents. So if you're needing a strut tower bar, maybe you haven't bought one yet, it genuinely will improve the you know front end response and feel from your car and really just improve overall enjoyment while driving. Check this one out. It's a beauty. Look how awesome this thing is. So they call this the Advan or Yokohama Will zip up hoodie. Now, uh, of course, on the front, we've got the historic Super Advan racing wheels. Now, uh, this is just an awesome hoodie. I mean, just look at it. So a couple things. Uh, one, super soft on the inside, very thick, very well built. And of course, you can always remove these drawstrings, which, you know, eventually this is gonna become your, you know, working on your car in the winter type hoodie. But for now, of course, you'd wanna keep it nice. And uh, I love the color, I love the fit of these. But if you're looking to keep warm this winter and uh, you wanna sport some Advan or Yokohama Pride, you know, this is a very, very cool hoodie. And moving along, we've got the OLN OBD2 scan tool. This little guy right here is Bluetooth enabled. And basically what most of us are gonna use this for is we're gonna plug it in and we're gonna do one of a few things, either check and clear our check engine lights, even though you know we never get those anyway, of course, or more fun is to actually use a third party app and run a digital dash that's going to display boost, RPM, speed, throttle position sensor, coolant temp, those type of things. And we can use a custom dash with our phones or tablets uh, that'll actually display all of that in a way that we want it to be displayed. And then the fact that it's so small, when you wanna use it, you can plug it right in. When you're done, you can throw it in the glove box, but it is a very cool piece of technology. They're cheap enough now that, you know, you kind of don't have to worry about it. It's just a no brainer. I actually carry one very similar to this in my car and they're very handy and useful and well, quite awesome. Check it out. Now this is my style. This is the genuine Type RA steering wheel specific for the 15 plus WRX and STI. And of course it comes straight from Subaru. And hot damn, this thing is sexy. Now the actual steering wheel itself, the grip on it is, you know, very thick. Of course covered in this beautiful ultra suede with the red stitching. Now, if you want an aftermarket steering wheel, but you don't wanna go with an aftermarket steering wheel, this is the perfect option for you because it is an OEM product, just way better 
than your factory WRX or STI steering wheel in just about every way. It is gonna be a direct bolt-on. You're gonna be able to use your factory airbags as well as your factory uh, button controls here on the side for cruise control, radio, etc. And it's just the perfect wheel, the size, the shape, the look, the feel, the texture, Subaru, absolutely nailed it on this one. And so, whew, this is the steering wheel. And surprisingly affordable. Check it out. Moving along for you 15 plus WRX and STI guys, how about something genuine from Subaru OEM? A red seat belt, but this is from the Type RA. Now this is a 100% direct replacement for your factory belt. And this is a very, very cool replacement piece. I absolutely love stuff like this. It's a very subtle red, of course, incredibly high quality, made by Takata, which actually I guess I should, yeah, no, no shrapnel in but it is made by Takata, same people that uh, you see uh, with seatbelts, those green seatbelts running in Formula D and Japanese racing and that kind of stuff. So very cool piece. And I absolutely love the subtle red to it that is a little bit less shouty than the other models you can get, uh, but still adds some color into the otherwise black and kind of boring interior in most of our cars. And the best part is this is surprisingly affordable. And when I say that, I mean, in the sense that this is, you know, Subaru OEM, surprisingly affordable, but you should definitely check these out. Seriously, these are awesome. These are the Charge Speed Carbon Fiber Grill Finishers and specific for the 18 plus WRX and STI. And this isn't so much specifically about these finishers, even though they are nice and we'll get to them in a second, but just the fact that we brought on Charge Speed. And this is a, the same ultra JDM company who brought us, you know, like one of the most ridiculous body kits for the GC8 that I've ever seen. And I still want it so bad to this day. Anyway, okay, Charge Speed hand makes these and uses a plain weave carbon fiber. And basically this covers up kind of that weird split beam design styling thing that Subaru uh, decided to go with on the front grill. It replaces it with this actually fairly aggressive single carbon fiber piece. Now these are gonna be super easy to install and is a really easy way to change up the style on your WRX or STI, regardless if you like this or not. I'm just genuinely stoked we're carrying charge speed and this tiny little product here is a perfect example of what makes them so great. Ultra high quality, very high attention to detail and just really cool products all around. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the Volk ZE40 RW limited in dash white and it features this pure white color with these awesome red accents. There's something about it that I just think is incredibly cool. Now, these come in at under 19 pounds per wheel. And of course, it has this ultra aggressive concave face, beautiful machining throughout the entire wheel. It also has, you know, these little anti-slip tire bead knurling around the barrel of the wheel to prevent your tire from slipping and it's absolutely one of the best wheels out there for street and track use, but it does come at a price. And uh, that price is getting close to like 900 bucks per wheel. It's painful, but when you want something rare and high end, it's kind of the cost of entry. And this wheel is a prime example of basically the best of the best and is now a limited model, which makes it even cooler because, well, it's limited and it just look at it. These are the new compressive tuning air blade heat extractor sets. Now they are gonna be specific for the 15 plus WRX and STI and are available in this beautiful red here, black or silver. Now these are a 100% direct bolt on and these do reduce engine bay temperature by allowing you know proper airflow basically through the front of the car and then out these vented pieces here down through the wheel wells and out the back and it also well looks let's be honest here it's going to really uh, make the engine bay pop so if you've got a 15 plus WRX or STI 
We're probably gonna be buying these just for the looks, but do know that they also do serve a function. So if you are you know, doing any autocrosses, track driving, or just aggressive daily driving, these can definitely help keep generally engine bay uh, temps down to where they should be, but they just look absolutely awesome. Love the powder coat, love the compressive tuning uh, logo here on the top, and just a very stunning, visually striking piece to look at. Check them out. Now this might be the sexiest thing I've ever held. Seriously, can we throw it like, I know I normally like introduce the product first, but can we just throw in some B-roll like now? I mean, look at the pipe welds, the color gradation, and those like have to be hand done, right? And all the pipes can't weigh more than like a couple pounds. Like it's, it's incredible. Okay, this is the ETS intercooler pipe kit, which we have available for the 08 Plus STI. Now you'll be able to get this in either raw titanium or this, you know, car porn uh, burnt titanium. And this one even has the uh, air intake uh, bung welded on it if you're gonna run speed density. Now I would recommend going with the uh, air intake bung anyway, because it's easy to plug up and not so easy to put it on if you want it later. Now, these are designed to work with the ETS intercooler cores and come with everything you're going to need to install it, including the silicone couplers and T-bolt clamps, uh, which I now actually kind of hate. They're over there and I didn't even get them out because uh, all they do is cover up the sexy bits. <laughs> anyway, it's obvious these are incredibly well made with, you know, minimal bends in the pipe and then when you do have the tighter bends they do the pie welds throughout and basically they're just trying to smooth out airflow as much as possible and get the maximum airflow through the pipe and all of the welds are near perfect they're feather weight and it's gonna make everything else in your engine bay well kind of not as nice. It's like bringing a supermodel to Walmart. Uh, so just make sure that uh, the rest of your engine bay is ready for something of this level. But if you are looking for something just to make that engine bay stand out and really be unique and, you know, give people something to talk about or hate you for, this is definitely the way to go. This is art that has a function and it's incredibly, incredibly sexy and very light. This little guy almost didn't make it in the video due to some uh, shipping issues, but I just got it here and I'm glad I did. This is the Grimspeed Cool Touch Delrin cap and it's their latest version two edition that was, well, just barely released. Now this is made from Delrin and so the cap's gonna do a great job of maintaining its cool, and I mean cool, I mean temperature. So uh, you can touch it even after a track day or a canyon run, which may not seem like that big of a deal until you've done a track day or a canyon run and you've went to take off your oil cap. Now this is an OEM fit and size, which is great. So if you're running like a front mount and worry about, you know, an aftermarket cap hitting your piping or anything like that, this will clear if your factory cap will clear. Now it does come with the Grim Speed logo here on the top and I think it looks awesome. Plus it even comes with a new O-ring so you don't have to swap over your stock uh, ring from your factory cap. And thanks Grim Speed for actually for sending this over and to the shipping company Company, well, you did get a grip shift knobs. Now this is actually something I've been wanting us to bring in for quite some time now, just cause I love the concept of this. It seemed like a really cool, unique and new design, which is not something you find very often in the automotive space. But basically they're using a, uh, what I would consider to be like a downhill mountain bike or motocross grip. And then they've got the aluminum uh, locking collars here on the top and bottom. Now these are available for both the five and six speed Subarus and the grips themselves. So this is a genuine Vans grip and it's very, grippy, pretty soft, uh, but it literally has the Vans logo on it. And of course it's just that waffle style, which you're gonna find on the bottom of your Vans shoes. Then they've got like this bear, bear claw design here. Uh, not, as, not as aggressive as a grip, uh, still you know soft in the hand, but of course you've got that uh, hardened insert there uh, in the center. So it gives you something really positive to grab onto. Uh, a little bit smoother of a design. And of course, all these are available in, you know, blue, gold, red, silver um, collars there. And then you have this one, 
which I was only able to find with the blue collars. Uh, but this is the Vans gum sole, a little bit more fleshy of a color. Uh, still the same, you know, waffle grip design there. Uh, but just a very cool and unique concept. And I was worried that it would feel funny uh, being a shift knob, but it actually feels really good like surprisingly good. Uh, install is super easy, like all shift knobs are. Um, you're gonna thread that down onto your uh, shift lever, and then of course, slide that one down over the top, and then use the included hardware just to tighten those down. And then of course, it comes with a cool little plug here on the top. But it looks awesome in the car. So if you're wanting a really cool, really unique, uh, and different type of shift knob that feels surprisingly good, definitely check out these get a grip shift knobs. They're really freaking cool. And last but certainly not least, these are the brand new Faction Fab F-Tech lowering springs. So right off the hop, let's talk specs because that's really what most of us care about, uh, specifically the drop. So these, one inch in the front, 0.8 inch in the rear. These are gonna fit the 08 Plus WX and STI as well as the FRS BRZ GT86 platform. Now, these are designed to be a direct factory replacement uh, for your stock springs, meaning they're basically what we want the WRX, the STI, and the FRS BRZ G86 to be right out of the box. And Faction Fab has nailed it with these, and I actually got a chance to drive in a vehicle with these installed, and they are sublime. There aren't enough springs on the market like this. It's good to have some competition. And Faction Fab has killed it, even down to you know the ultra high quality uh, covers here on the spring windings. So good job, Faction Fab. If you guys are looking for a set of springs, you know who you are. Yeah, this one, these aren't for everybody, but for that guy who does daily drive his car, you know, wants some added performance, uh, doesn't want it to be too harsh, this is gonna be it. Check it out, basically. And that's it. Seriously, if you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. I genuinely appreciate it. Now, I didn't get to, you know, go over all the items I wanted to. There were a few I was trying to get my hands on and I just couldn't, but maybe we can feature them in a future video. And like I said, if there's an item here that you want me to really dive into, post it down below in the comments. And if there's enough interest, I certainly will. But again, thank you. Make sure to like, subscribe, comment, or do whatever you want. I really don't care. Enjoy the rest of your November and enjoy your next video if that's where YouTube takes you. I feel like a flight attendant, but thanks again, guys. I'll see you next month. Make sure to lock your seatbelt. Enjoy your next video. It was a pleasure being in front of the camera for you guys. And uh, make sure to uh, tip, you know, your videographer on the way out. Oh, did we just end it now? Look at this. Look at that. I'm going to have to clean this. I don't want my dirty fingerprints all over it, but like, look at that. Just the, I'm guessing they, they hand burn these. Cause it's like a, not quite a perfect, like usually you can tell when it's machine done cause you'll kind of have the, the layers of color going throughout, but this is just a, it just got hot up here and you can see like the heat front flow down that's really, really cool. I'd actually like to know if anyone knows ETS, uh, the guys over there, they're like hand doing these. And then even down to, okay, this is probably the heaviest piece, maybe weighs two pounds. But the welding there along the air intake temp bung, the welding for the blow off out flange, and even the, the little uh, flange welded on here. It's just beautiful. I can't, I've never welded titanium, but I can't imagine it's easy to do. And these ones look like they might be done with a machine, but I don't think these ones are. And they're still just absolutely gorgeous. Ha. Even the flange is titanium. I probably shouldn't shoot in 4K when I'm oogling over product. Holy crap. 
What would be cool though too is if you've got like uh, one of the pipes, I'm guessing it's this one. I'm trying to think. Because your air intake's there, air intake temp's there. Anyway, whatever pipe that goes like over the turbo, <clears throat> if you're not running like a heat blanket or something like that, if it would actually have enough heat to, to turn that a little slightly different color. This is probably my favorite piece. Actually, they're all, I was gonna say, no this one, no this one, no this one. This piece is all right. Least favorite piece here. That one's really cool. But this one, just because you get all of the colors in something small enough that you can like take in as a whole. And this one because of pie welds. Whew, pie welds. And then this one just because of the, all of the welding done to it, all the machine work, the fab work that's done here. And the fact that they have a titanium flange. Oh, and you can even see the, the cut marks there. I wonder if they punch that out. That would be a big punch. It's a lot of force. But you can see how it goes from smooth. Yeah, it almost looks like the material kind of compresses and scrapes along the bottom there. Wow. Yeah, because that doesn't look like, no, I guess that could be grinder marks. I don't know. Anyway, okay, time to end the video. Woo. I don't want him. Just looks good.